Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. The New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Thursday, July 28th crosswords, so here's your spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Soft, spam, board, Frito, uh, tears, and slow. Just the downs after getting soft. Paris Metro is a rapid transit system with stops at Musée d'Orsay and Pont Neuf. Been to both those places. With my mom and my sister. Ariel and Dos. Fairly easy mini today. But now for the main event. That's the Thursday Daily Grid, which is by Bill Pipel and Jeff Chen. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. I always look forward to the Thursday trickery, so let's see what uh, what Bill and Jeff have in store for us. Get into it. Like some face creams and serums, supposedly. Actress Uzo. It's like a dube, right? NL West team on scoreboards. Rouse to action. Strip as a ship. This is Diana Tarasi. Okay. Still a contender in it. Ankle bones tarsi. Antenna once. Okay. Oh, Niner. Oh, anti-something. Putting it in an enclosure. Loan letters, maybe APR cost for a commercial. So add something. Why did I do that? Do, 4K, exhibit grandiloquence. So, orate. Short class known, now known as family and consumer sciences. So home economics, probably. So it's probably aging, fee, or rate economics character that's popular on social media hashtag instrument with the bell an oboe most frequent number in math the mode may the forces of blank become confused on the way to your house partner of parks rec okay i think probably we should just put in the these over is above forces of evil this is rhapsodic, extravagantly emotional, ritzy, posh. Close behind is to heal. Go ahead, try this. Have something. Courage under fire is valor. Cheese wrapped in wax is edum. Sign omen. What you get when you put your hands together. Gal Gadot. Abstainers amount none. Haven there. Plant used to make mescal. Is it agave? This is caging. Dearest partner, maybe nearest. It's a novel experience. Reads. Port of Alaska, Sitka, Cottage Noble in Macbeth. Lease, we rent something, sidestep, avoid, rumble in the jungle promoter, it's Don King. So what do we have here again? Definitely economics, king, and something. Scraping out, eking out. Pear cultivar, probably Bosque. Cortana is to Microsoft as Siri is to Apple. Word of mouth. Oral, maybe? Tube Rider, e.g. Brit. This is BBC, I think. And Tilly's resident. Carib. One always taking cover. 1985 benefit concert. That's Live Aid. All right. Act 4. This is 10. Finish off. Maybe do in. Scottish noble. Fastidious roommate of classic TV. One way to administer a tranquilizer. Blow gun. Dart gun. Rent out. Crown covering enamel. Two proper nouns there, I don't know. To boot. Quell as concerns. First name on the Supreme Court. Elena or, Elena or Sonia. Just peachy. Electronics whiz. IT something? Ch Chaucer chapter, Chimpu over to the earth. Forget, go kaput without. Conk out. Whose room positions are desks? Oh, Enos, I think. Sing along? No, good Nick. Is the, oh, this is a tail. Engage in some amorous behavior. Canoodle, to nice word. With 69 end of college address, dot edu. This is unrig, bestir, and... Arizona Aduba. 
Angus or something? Dead hogs. Cute clue. Military move. Tech. Techie. One of many in Indiana Jones's possession. Relic? Oh. The circle letter and solving seven across clues. Cut corners. Oh, oh, I see. This is just anti-aging. Add rate. I should have seen this. Home ec. Don King. Have one. Live aid. Creator of Heffalumps. Is that Seuss? No. Milne? Yeah. Pooh, sorry. There's options for CC and BCC. Email? True blue. Loyal? Just peachy. Swell? Sonia here. As well. Alay? Uh, observe Ruddy. Sallow? Alright. Cut corners. So interesting way to have a revealer here. The word cut. And the thing that you cut out of each of these corners spells like corners. It's also nice, it's all possible rightmost, topmost corners. No, not this one. <laughs> okay, it's almost that. Okay, not this one either. But it's close. Okay, not this one. Sure. Okay, never mind. But they are all corners. Um, yeah, they're all top right corners. But I should have seen it way faster than I did. I was thinking Rebus or something, but it just goes around the corner and you cut the corner. Yeah. Okay, and then a really a nice feature of this is that the grid, each word in the grid is a legitimate word, right? So antic and caging are both legitimate, as well as anti-aging. Ado and orate, right? Homer and wreck. So it's not like the across clues become nonsense when they're in the grid. So that's a, that's a really nice feature. Yeah, not overly tricky. It took me too long to see it, and yet... Not overly tricky, but a, fu a fun little mechanic on this Thursday. I will give it that. Um, switch to this and just take a look around this thing. Got Uzo Aduba, which I wanted Adube there, but quite famous, especially for Orange is the New Black, which actually I've only watched a couple episodes of. Maybe I should watch more. Uzo Aduba. I think Uzo these days appears fairly often in the grid, so definitely an actress to know, if at least for that reason. Yeah, Diana Tarasi crossing Uzo Aduba, but the D there, once you have Iana, D is one of the few letters you would guess. Unrig. It's a little bit of an awkward un. To heal. Have one, yeah. Galagadot. Yeah, this this part has like a few too many proper nouns, maybe. But I wonder if you it would be better to clue Angus as beef or whatever, or ca cattle breed or whatever. Because I didn't know Unger. The Unger, oh. The Odd Couple. Felix Unger. Felix Unger, that does sound somewhat familiar. But if you were born, like me, in the late 80s, <laughs> I've not watched much Odd Couple. Uh, I guess I, I could have read more Shakespeare, probably. <laughs> um, yeah, Sallow is kind of a nice word. I always get, I always think that Heffalumps are Dr. Seuss. I guess I think of them as like who's or whatever. You know, Horton, here's a who. They're kind of elephanty, right? But sure, those are Winnie the Pooh things. Nothing really too, too difficult. 
That's Joe Montana, a little bit of a misdirect. Yeah, I, I guess it's a bit of a misdirect as well. The bell is like the end piece of the oboe. Oboe bell, yeah. But I did play in many orchestras back in the day. Act four. Yeah, it's a bit of a crutch, I think. But, you know, ending in IV here. This is a themer. Ending in V is maybe a bit difficult. Interesting, we've got BBC crossing Brit when the first B stands for British. The Beeb, as they say. Yeah, I like bed hogs. A nice clue. It's pretty cute. Yeah. Nice grid. Uh, nice mechanic. Pretty easy. Oh, wow. This is kind of a... This picture is kind of a, a spoiler to have it anywhere near the puzzle. Hmm. They should have chosen a different picture before this one. Anyway, that'll be fairly fast-ish for a Thursday. Thursdays vary a lot in difficulty, in my experience. Leader for tomorrow, it's just me at the moment. Um, I can check the other one though. Let's see. We've got just B. So we've got just me and just B. Anyway, shout out to you, just B. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.